Hello, my name is Pete Gerlach. I've been a professional family systems therapist for 31 years. And related to that work, I've had an interest in uh, effective communication between people for many, many years. This video is one of a series that I am creating in order to pass on to you what I've learned in those decades of study. To get the most out of what I'm about to tell you, um, first, view three separate videos, all of which are relatively short, and they are about communication tips. Um, the first is about something called R messages, or respect messages. The second is about awareness bubbles. And the third is about E levels, or emotion levels. These are useful things to know if you want to communicate more effectively. So invest a little time in viewing each of these. Here are the links. These will open a new window, so pause this video, go look at those other three, and then come back here. Now, this video uh, offers you some suggestions on how to give other people effective verbal feedback. As you know, we all, all people in relationships or strangers, give each other <coughs> feedback all the time. Um, we give uh, intentional or unintentional impressions or information about the other person's personality or their attitudes or their behaviors or their appearance. So we do this so frequently it becomes automatic and most of the time uh, depending on the circumstances, we're not, not even aware that we're doing it, or how we're doing it, or why we're doing it. Um, feedback ranges from minor to unimportant, <clears throat> to extremely important, where a relationship may hinge on the type of feedback you give. And that's why I want to make this video. I want to encourage you to become more aware of how you do feedback in important relationships and situations. Pause for a minute and think. You're a normal, unique person. You probably established your own way of giving other people feedback about themselves. You may do that with a smile, with a frown, abruptly, with a long explanation um, from your head, from your heart. You may have different reasons for doing it. But stop and think. How would other people describe the way you do interpersonal feedback. Now, compare what you just learned about yourself to these ideas. First, stop and think, why do we all give each other feedback? There are several reasons. One is, you might not think of this one up front, to protect our integrity. What I mean by that is, we feel better about ourselves if we give another person some constructive, hopefully, feedback about themselves. We feel better about ourselves. Sometimes we give feedback to vent. We simply want to um, release our thoughts and our feelings to the other person. That's all we need to do. <clears throat> Sometimes we give feedback in order to cause change either in the other person or in our relationship. Sometimes we give a feedback to support another person. We want to cheer them on, help them, uh, encourage them, or empower them. So there are a number of different reasons that cause us all, adults and kids, to give intentional feedback. There are several different ways we do this, or several things that trigger giving feedback. One is, if our communication partner asks us a question. Do you think this shirt and my pants go together well? Sometimes the other people can ask for direct feedback. Do you think I have a sense of humor? Um, and we can respond uh, accurately, honestly, or not. Um, a fair amount of the time, we give 
unrequested feedback to people. Our partner may not overtly ask us for feedback, but we, for various reasons, we want to or need to offer them some kind of opinion or information about themselves. That's unrequested feedback. The, the, the first two of these are verbal. The third of three ways of feedback is non-verbal. It may be both requested and unrequested. For example, can you think of the last time someone gave you an eye roll? You know, like no words were spoken that conveyed a message to you about something. So, we answer questions, or we give unsolicited feedback, or we give nonverbal feedback. How can you give effective feedback? Effective, by the way, means you get your need met. That implies you need to know why in important situations, why are you giving feedback? Here are some things to be aware of that can improve the effectiveness of your interpersonal, verbal, intentional feedback. There's a group of things that you need to be aware of. That's the first of seven communication skills that you can learn in lesson two in my educational website. Awareness. Awareness of what? The most pivotal awareness is who's running your life at the moment, your true self or your false self. If that doesn't mean anything to you right now, find out more about who's really running your life by looking at the Lesson 1 videos in YouTube or go to Lesson 1 in my nonprofit website at sfhilt. Org. So be aware who's running your life, who's about to give feedback. Secondly, be aware of your current attitude about you and your partner. If it's one of genuine mutual respect, I see your needs and my needs, your dignity and my dignity as of equal value to me here right now, then go ahead. The alternatives are I see my needs as more important than yours or less important than yours. If you have either one of those attitudes, your effectiveness will suffer. The third thing to be aware of before you give intentional verbal feedback, if it's important, not casual, is your awareness bubble. I hope you watched the brief video on bubbles so this will mean something to you. The best choice you have is to have a two-person bubble. There are four choices. The best one is a two-person bubble where you're aware of yourself and the other person and what's going on between you. So check before important feedback to see where is your awareness bubble. Okay. Another thing that you can become routinely aware of is your emotion level. Is it above your ears, meaning you can't hear the other person well, you're distracted by something, or is it, figuratively speaking, below your ears, where you're able to hear any kind of response they may give you to your feedback. So where is your E level? Is your true self in charge? What's your attitude? Is it mutual respect? Where's your awareness bubble? Where's your E level? Are you having friendly eye contact that's stable? Or are you looking around? Are you embarrassed? Are you distracted? What kind of eye contact do you have? And the last and perhaps the most important thing is why are you giving this person verbal feedback? Which of the needs that I just mentioned a minute ago are you trying to fill? That sounds like a lot to be aware of, isn't it? By the way, you need to be aware of these in any communication, not just feedback. <clears throat> uh, focus on one thing briefly, not 14 things you want to give feedback on. How about just one or at the very most two? Ask your partner if they're open to receiving feedback. 
because sometimes they're not. They're distracted um, by something internal, external. So ask. That sounds something like, with good friendly eye contact, can I give you some feedback? This is optional, but it often it's respectful. It gives the other person sort of a heads up, like they're about to receive some information from you. <clears throat> if you're wanting to give praise, or if you're wanting to say something that the other person may perceive as criticism, either way, I recommend that you give the feedback in the form of an I message, capital letter I. There's a video that shows you how to do that. I'm not going to review it here. But in effect, it's the easiest way to assert an opinion or a perception to someone else where they cannot negate you. So if you're going to praise somebody or criticize them, uh, use an I message and be prepared for resistance. Um, my other video shows you what that is. When you receive resistance, if they don't hear you or they argue or they say, oh shucks, or they um, discount what you're saying, use empathic listening, uh, which is called by some mirroring, say back what you hear, and then reassert your feedback. One sentence, simple, no explanations, no apologies, simple, straight, direct, calm, one, one or two sentences max. After you've done these things, notice how you feel. If your true self has been in charge and you've done this for the right reasons, the constructive reasons, you'll probably feel good about yourself. You have the option, after delivering, delivering feedback, of asking your partner for a hearing check. If you have any confusion at all, did they hear you clearly, ask them to tell you. It's okay. Tell me, what did you just hear from me? It's a legitimate, honest question. Um, the other possibility is ask them for feedback on your feedback. How did it feel for me to give you this information? So, there are lots of factors to consider. You may not have thought about all these in the seemingly simple process of giving interpersonal feedback verbally to somebody, I want to assure you that if you practice these things enough, they will become habitual and you won't even have to think about them. It will become natural habit. If you want some more tips on how to raise your communication effectiveness, see these videos. Here's the link. There are or perhaps a dozen of them, and or read this related article to what I just covered in my nonprofit educational website. Here's the web address of an article on how to give effective feedback. I hope, I hope you found this thought-provoking and informative, um, and that you benefit from practicing some of these suggestions. Thanks for watching.